To be perfectly clear, there are no actual zombies in this game, though Noah Wiley's voice acting does come frighteningly close. After playing this game, I realized exactly what's wrong with America's healthcare system. It turns out that saving lives is very, very boring. Almost as boring as watching ER. But if video game doctors are lame, video game diseases can be fun. Here's a review of Oil Pop Fever. When you're working in the X-Play offices, it's hard not to catch something from your co-workers. Spring fever, baseball fever, Saturday night fever. Recently, a new type of fever has started to spread around the office. Symptoms include sweating, twitching, frustration, multicolor blobs, and I think we kind of like it. No, it's not that kind of fever. I'm talking about Poyo Pop fever for the DS. Poyo Pop Fever is the latest in a long line of puzzle battle games. Connect four Poyos, that's these blob things, of the same color together to make them disappear. Every time you complete a Poyo match, you send a nuisance Poyo over to your opponent. Shower them with a couple or bury them up to their dilated eyeballs in transparent Poyo by clearing out several chains of Poyo all at once. Flame! Your opponent can launch their own nuisance splits on you as well. How do you then protect yourself from these bothersome bombardments, these translucent transgressions? By matching Poyo, you can delay the inevitable shower of annoyance. For every Poyo you delay, your fever meter builds until you reach fever mode. This new addition to the Poyo Pop world lets you play out a minigame during your battle. A screen filled with Poyo will appear. The next Poyo you place will most likely clear the screen and send a small army of nuisance Poyo at your opponent. This will all become clear during the story mode. Just skip over the story. Trust me on this one. Poyo Pop Fever starts out like a cute little bunny. Oh, this is easy. Wicked! That's right, cry your little anime eyes for me. And then turns on you like a cute bunny of death. The game reels you in with a simple idea and keeps you there with its surprising complexity. Poyo Pop goes a step further by allowing up to seven other players to join in on one cartridge. That's what I call spreading the infection. What more could we want? The game plays well on one screen, but somehow they forgot about the second screen. What is this? No, seriously, what are they doing? Poyo Pop Fever presents one of the best puzzle experiences for the DS with colorful characters and complex gameplay. That's why we give Poyo Pop Fever a four out of five. Beware the bunny. Ah, run away, run away! That said onion pixie. It did. What is an onion pixie? It's Japanese. Oh. Yeah. Just to clarify, were those drippy things supposed to be snot? No, they're like gumdroppy things, I think. But it's supposed to be a fever and those colored drippy things, how, how, how do we know that they're not mucus or phlegm or something? Well, if it's snot that's brightly colored and adorable, I'm willing to live with that. You live with snot? We all.